Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat or Ashley, and today I get to talk about a really cool commander that wants us to use ninjutsu on our creatures. So let's talk about that. Our commander is Satoru Umazawa. For one blue black, we have a 2 4 human ninja. Whenever you activate a ninjutsu ability, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This ability only triggers once each turn. Each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu 2 blue black. So I took inspiration from Braid's Conjurer Adept and Yuriko the Tiger Shadow because we get to reduce the cost of our creatures whenever we have an unblocked creature. So you can expect nine or more CMC creatures that should not be paid for by four mana with our commander's ability. And I love that because cheating paying the cost of spells is one of the most powerful things to do in magic. Going back to the unblockable creatures, we have Changeling Outcast, Miscloaked Herald, Slitherblade, and Tormented Soul. When these are unblocked, we can then have access to our commander's ninjutsu ability, which is exactly what we're wanting. Our commander will become a target, so we can protect it by Mask of Avacyn and Mirror shield. Both are great budget ways to give our commander hexproof and this can make our opponents have to use not one but two removal spells or even board wipes if they have to kill our commander. When it comes to ramp we have a lot of the classic mana rocks that you have to pay two to get one colorless and this is most of the ramp and then there's even three CMC mana rocks because if our commander is in the command zone we're stuck with huge CMC creatures and we need to be able to cast them to get them on the battlefield. Silver Fur Master, a creature that has ninjutsu and helps our commander's ability cost one less and if we have ninjas or rogues out they're gonna get plus one plus one. That last ability I'm not relying on because we just care about big creatures and cheating them out. So by helping reduce the cost of the ninjutsu ability is really what we want to focus on. So now we can pay three instead of four mana to cheat out these big boys. I like it. The removal in the deck is neat because we have dispersal shield, negate, and unwind. These are all under one dollar when we combine their prices together. And counter spells can be useful whenever we need to protect our commander or even prevent somebody from winning the game. Blue and black have a difficulty destroying or exiling artifacts or enchantments. So Feed the Swarm and Resculpt help us do just that. As for creatures that do the removing, we have Meteor Golem and Phyrexian Ingester, both ETB triggers that help us take care of a permanent or more specifically with Ingester, a creature. Board Wipes. Not everyone's favorite topic, but we have two of them. We have Aetherize and Aether Spouts. If an opponent does attack us, we can take care of that. We can also target our creatures if we need to return them back to our hand by using Aetherize. Moving on to the big creatures, we have Chancellor of Spires and Diluvium Primordial. Both both help us cast instants and sorceries from our opponent's graveyard whenever they ETB. And we cast them for free, which again, cheating the mana cost is super powerful. There are Eldrazi's in the deck, so we have Bane of Balaged, Breaker of Armies, and Eldrazi Devastator. These cost 7 and 8 mana, which we can pay 3 or 4 mana for. This is excellent. Tidal Force. It may not look like much, but each upkeep we get a tap or untap a permanent. I find this very powerful, and this is because if our opponent is playing Voltron, they will not get much done, because whenever we have Tidal Force out, we can tap down their one Voltron creature. If we need to untap one of our creatures that attacked earlier during our turn and we need a blocker, we can then untap it and this is a great option. Love this card. Demon of Loathing. This is a 7-7 flying trample creature that when it deals combat damage to a player, that player has to sacrifice a creature. Ouch. And 7 is a lot of damage as well. Nothing to look away from. Tremocritus. This is an 8-8 Kraken with Hexproof as long as it's not attacking or blocking. And it can't be blocked unless all creatures the defending player owns blocks it. Wow. 17 cents for this one. I think I think people don't like paying the mana for this and that could explain the low price, but we don't have to pay the 7 mana, so this creature could be potentially worth more than the 17 cents to us with its cool effects. Moving on to my favorite category, that's drawing cards. Nazahal Primal Tide. I was surprised to see this at $1.59 and it used to be around $3, which is really good. This is a 7-7 Elder Dinosaur that can't be countered, gives us no max hand size, and whenever an opponent would cast a non-creature spell, we get to draw a card. We can also discard 3 cards to exile it and return it to the battlefield tapped at the next end step, and this could save it from a removal spell or even a board wipe, which is very helpful. Ambitions cost and Ancient Craving. They cost the same, do the same thing, just different names. We draw three, lose three life for four mana. I like these a lot. Three cards can help us get back on track if we missed a land drop or we're just running out of cards in our hand. Rush of Knowledge and Ugin's Insight. As you can tell, we have a lot of high CMC cards, and these spells take advantage of that. Rush of Knowledge lets us draw equal to the highest CMC we control, and Ugin's Insight lets us scry X where X is the highest CMC we control, and then we get to draw three. Five mana for these awesome spells, and they are perfect for this deck. Baleful Force is a 7-7 elemental that costs eight mana. This gives us a Phyrexian Arena effect, so for 45 cents, we can replace this with a $15 card. Love it. So that was the Satoru Umazawa deck tech. I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it. If you'd like to purchase this deck, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. Thank you to the patrons who help support this show, and you can also become a patron to see your name at the end of these videos, and even more rewards. I'll see you 
see you on the next one. Uh, peace.